Christmas is that time of year when many children are on their best behavior, trying to avoid Santa's naughty list, and millions of others celebrate the birth of Jesus worldwide. However, there is a darkness that surrounds the holiday that many love and cherish, and most are completely unaware of it. The darkness originates from the elements that make Christmas what it is today, from the origins of Santa and his devilish associate to the origins of Christmas Day itself, which originated from sin and mayhem. These are three of the most dark and sinister things about Christmas I bet you didn't know. Number 3 Many of you might know Santa Claus as a fictional character who originated from Saint Nicholas who was known as a Patreon saint of children and gift bringer. And over hundreds of years and after many modifications, he became the jolly fella most kids know and adore today. But what many might not know is how Saint Nicholas became known as a Patreon saint of children. During the Middle Ages, there was an enormously well-known story regarding this. The story tells of Bishop Saint Nicholas entering an inn where its keeper, had just murdered three boys and pickled their dismembered bodies in barrels in the basement. It is told that the bishop was able to sense the crime and even resurrect the victims as well, which is one of the reasons he became known as a patron saint of children. This story was eventually replaced by one less gruesome, which became more popular for obvious reasons. Number 2 while many children today know that Santa Claus is always watching, judging their character, giving gifts to the nice ones, and lumps of coal to the naughty ones. However, this wasn't always the case. From the 1700s all the way through the early 1900s, his dark companion, Crumpus, was the one responsible for handling the misbehaving children, the long, horned, shaggy, goat-like monster with a long, angry face and a long forked tongue was in the same league as Santa himself according to legend. If children misbehave, Saint Nicholas would send his associate, Crumpus. His dark partner would show up and punish the wicked child. He would beat him with a bundle of birch sticks and whip him with horsehair and finally throw him in a sack or a wicker basket to take him down to hell for a year. Recently, Crumpus has been gaining popularity, in large part due to the loose adaptation of the legend which was turned into a horrible motion picture bearing his name. So some parents might be retelling the legend of Crumpus and scaring the crap out of their children in the near future. Who knows? Number 1 the origin of the holiday itself is surrounded in darkness. While millions believe that Christmas, which is celebrated on December 25th, marks the birth of Jesus, this is very unlikely, as most scholars believe that if Jesus was indeed born under the circumstances the Bible describes and in the region, he was most likely born during a warmer month. So where do we get December 25th from then? From the pagan holiday called Saturnalia, which actually predates Christianity itself. Saturnalia was a week long holiday that ran from December 17th through December 25th during Roman times that honored the god Saturn, which included human sacrifice, intoxication, naked women caroling, and rape, and much more. During these seven days, there was no punishment for breaking any law, much like the modern movie The Perch. Christianity adopted Saturnalia in hopes of converting pagans into Christianity by promising they could still celebrate as Christians. However, since Saturnalia didn't follow Christian principles, Christian leaders eventually decided it couldn't be celebrated as it had been and just designated the last day of Saturnalia as the birthday of Jesus, which gave birth to Christmas as we know it 
today. Hey everyone, JC here. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads. And I would also appreciate if you check out my other content. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.